Ah. How are we all doing? Today I thought we'd have a quick look at this auto transformer. Chris, all the gear, no idea, is doing after doing two great in depth videos into uh, step up, step down uh, transformers. And he's gone into a lot of the theory on uh, transformer efficiency and uh, regulation and stuff like that, which is interesting. But uh, this is obviously a new one that he got off. Uh, you got off eBay or something. This is an old scale one. So I just thought we'd open it up and have a look at it. See how they compare. This is a Tra Tra Mag the D2001. And proudly states that it was made in Western Germany. And I believe these might have been uh, marketed towards uh, uh, Americans stationed in Germany uh, at that time so they would have had their uh, American 110 volt gear with them so they would have been using these to step the, step down the uh, 220 volts but this is a it's a heavy unit <coughs> why is a bloody ton uh, there's two outlets on the front and uh, it says 2000 watts fuels here so we'll just open it up and see what kind of transformer it has. This is an auto transformer, there is no installation provided uh, with this. And as I say, it weighs a bloody ton. Winter's really coming in here now. It's a, it's a really cold winter's day here today. So, which is good and bad. I like the summer, I like the bright evenings, but the uh, the dark evenings in the winter give more time for this kind of thing. Because you can't really do anything else. Unless you're into sitting looking at the telly, which I'm not. Which is a bit strange for someone that has 100 televisions that I don't actually like watching telly. Because there's nothing on anymore. Most of my view in the evenings will be YouTube or I've been watching a bit of Star Trek and the other Netflix lately. But, uh, yeah, as for watching anything on mainstreamy type television doesn't doesn't appeal to me too much now. It's all just crap. Reality crap. And the only news is pretty depressing these days too. To a bit of, I like watching YouTube, I have to say. I like looking at gobbers doing this kind of thing. Same shit as this. Uh, they're all doing it far better than I. But it's not a competition. It's just a bit of crack. The way I look at these videos and that that I do, I'm out in the shed floating around anyway, so I may as well be recording it and sharing it with people who have a, an interest, you know? The way I look at it. Now, for the moment of the truth, I'll bring the old camera in and you know, close look. Very heavy, I don't know if that's how it apart. Ah. Does it come out? It doesn't. Oh, I think. There's a bloody big transformer in there. I think the handle is holding it all together. I don't think there's any point pulling the transformer out, I'm not going to. Because uh, getting it back in might be a bit of an odd alias Cornelius. So I might just leave it. It's interesting though, you can see it. The windings on it there. So there's two windings either side on the... Uh, 
and the iron works well stuck together. And uh, you can see cards that farmers aired there when oil soldered. Well, of course, when this was made back in the 60s or whatever, they weren't concerned with. They didn't have the safety regulations. What I'm just trying to say is that where's the the case? Aired it, or is it? I'm sure it is somewhere. And I can't, uh, it's not obvious to me. And of course, there's no heat shrinking or any of that nonsense either. It's all, how are you doing? Anyway, that's it. Just a short video to look at that. I hope that's being of moderate interest. I'll say, why is a bloody tongue? Anyway, that's it. More boring crap to come sale. Good luck.